Welcome to support videos for Control Room Workload Automation video series. Today we will discuss how to synchronize the Manage File Transfer's host name, which is used to send updates to Control Room Server. You may run into a situation where an enterprise manager, you do not see the Manage File Transfer status update, or you're unavailable to pick an agent where Manage File Transfer was installed to promote to be a Manage File Transfer Enterprise Hub. This is due to a mismatch in the name by which the control room agent was discovered and the name chosen by Managed File Transfer during installation. During installation, Managed File Transfer is configured to use the OS host name in sending updates. To synchronize the names, we will adjust the parameters in the AFT Configurable as Properties file. We will also verify the agent is configured to use the same logical agent name. We will then restart the appropriate components to make these changes take effect. Now on to our demo. We've logged into Control and Configuration Manager. You can see we have two agents that have Managed File Transfer installed. When looking at the first agent, you can see that the message has some status information as to how the MFT is functioning. When we go down to the second agent, you see that there's no message. Now this indicates that either the MFT daemon is not running or it's not properly sending updates. We can verify if it's running just by bringing up the connection profile management. And as you can see, that returned quickly. So we know the daemon is running and we have a problem sending the updates back. This is the same problem that prevents you from being able to select this MFT installation to become a hub if you're using Managed File Transfer Enterprise. Let's take a look at the configuration on the agent. You can see we've already navigated to the CMAFT data directory off of the agent's installation path. And let's take a look at the AFT configurable.properties. There are two lines in here that actually contain the host name of the agent that's used to send updates. This must match the name that's used inside of the CCM or which control room server uses to communicate with this agent. And you can see this actually has the try because this was originally configured as a third agent. So let's update this to the, the secondary prefix we have on the agent. After making this change, we need to go back and restart the MFT. So what we're gonna do is we are going to first stop the agent. And we're performing this step first, mainly to make sure that it does not restart the MFT. And we're gonna run the CTM AFT container stop. Okay. And we're also going to verify that the hub is shut down. Now the hub is actually the file transfer server and it has the same name and when you're using B2B. So this is actually performing both functionality. So now at this point, we're just gonna go back and restart the agent. Now before we restart the agent, let's double check and make sure the agent is actually using that same name to send updates. Um, and this is something you would typically do when installing multiple agents on a machine or you're using a DNS alias. So we can just run ctmagcfg. And under the advanced settings, we have a setting called the logical agent name. This is the name that the agent uses to send updates and run utilities with the server. So you wanna make sure this also matches the host name that's defined in the CCM. And this all looks good. So we can just go ahead and start the agent up. Now, in the back, you saw that this did update when it was shut down. And that's because there's a different mechanism that sends the update at that time. So if in a few minutes, we'll actually see the update come back. As you can see, it's now refreshed. And this concludes today's demo. This concludes our Control Room Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.